The global iron cycle is the biogeochemical cycle of ferrous ions through the earth, landforms, ocean and atmosphere, facilitated by the action of microorganisms. In the ocean, upwellings cause water rich in iron and other minerals to come to the surface. On land, weathering makes iron available to be transported to marine environments. In terrestrial ecosystems, ferric oxide is present in soil and is an important source of iron for plants. Iron is then recycled through the decomposition of plant matter. In nature, iron is an important prosthetic group for many enzymes. It has a role in DNA synthesis, respiration and photosynthesis. Iron groups are present in nitrogenases, which are important for nitrogen fixation. Iron groups are also important in maintaining chloroplast structure and function, with chlorosis occurring in iron-deficient plants. This makes iron a critical nutrient for photosynthetic organisms, including phytoplankton and algae, which are responsible for over 50% of all photosynthetic activity on the planet. In recent times, this cycle has been disrupted by the action of humans. It is predicted that global warming will decrease iron bioavailability. It is thought that initially, higher rates of iron release will occur, due to an increase in iceberg scour in the cryosphere, the frozen portion of the Earth's surface. This is the process by which icebergs drift into shallow water, gouging out large portions of the seabed. However, long-term global warming will lead to glacial retreat, decreasing the erosive action of glaciers and causing a considerable decrease in iron availability. Other human-induced impacts to marine environments which affect the iron cycle include acidification, ocean warming and deoxygenation the oceans being a key component of the global iron cycle due to the activity of resident phytoplankton. These changes to the normal function of the iron cycle will surely have profound ecological consequences. Iron limitation constrains the productivity of phytoplankton because of the vital role it plays in the synthesis of chlorophyll and other proteins necessary for photosynthesis. Because phytoplankton fix carbon dioxide during photosynthesis, disruption to this process will impact the carbon cycle and also the overall productivity of ocean ecosystems, which comprise the majority of the Earth's biosphere. Environments like the Southern Ocean contain phytoplankton, which are strongly limited by the availability of iron, along with bacteria, which are also important in carbon fixation, but suffer the same constraint. Marine mammals like whales produce faecal matter that is rich in iron, giving these animals a role in recycling iron and other such material into these ecosystems, allowing both phyto- and zooplankton blooms to flourish in these harsh environments. The effect of human hunting endangers these animals, and this decline could interfere with the biological redistribution and recycling of iron. In all ecosystems in which photosynthetic organisms form the basis of the food web, insufficient iron could severely restrict their productivity. Some environments that are negatively affected by a low presence of iron have been shown to benefit from iron enrichment. In experiments, the growth of mangroves was enhanced by artificial increases in the iron supply, but alarmingly, some mangrove species showed iron toxicity at high supply rates, providing a stark warning against over-fertilisation. Artificial enrichment of the oceans with iron has been proposed as a form of carbon sequestering. Iron supplements can facilitate the growth of phytoplankton blooms, which trap carbon from the atmosphere in their bodies when they die. The oceanographer John Martin said, give me a half tanker of iron and I'll give you another ice age. Experiments have proven that the enrichment of areas of ocean with iron solutions can propagate algal blooms. However, there are problems with this as a strategy to rebalance the iron cycle and promote the drawdown of carbon dioxide as a way to combat the greenhouse effect. The implications of geoengineering on this scale are unknown and the decay of large algal blooms could create anoxic areas in the ocean, disrupting other species. Furthermore, the amount of iron required to create a significant effect is too high for this to be a viable solution to climate change, and this again raises the issue of iron toxicity for some organisms. Without change, the destabilisation of the iron cycle is only likely to get worse in the future, with ever-increasing levels of human interference. The disruption of the iron cycle will cripple the ecosystems we rely on, the food we eat and the air we breathe, and this will certainly have grave consequences for humanity.